Okay, you guys are always bugging me and saying you want to go on Film Talk. All you have to do is meet some simple criteria, and it's only this. You have to be the world's second best doubles partner ever. That's this guy. That's only because I'm the best doubles partner ever, so, you know, that's how it is. I can actually kind of lied. It's not really that exclusive. You don't have to just be the second best doubles partner. You know, you could be the second best doubles partner's girlfriend. Or you could be my girlfriend. Or you could be <laughs> someone with the same name as my second best doubles partner's girlfriend. Or you could be the friend of someone who has the same name as my second best doubles partner's girlfriend. My last film talk. I would get all sentimental and stuff, but I have a show to do and the show must go on. So with that being said, I have a very special edition of film talk because today we are going over the top eight movies of the summer. Woo! Kicking off the movie list today is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes coming out July 11th. This is the sequel to Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which came out about two years ago. That was a very good movie, and so I'm looking forward to this as the story continues after that movie with masses of genetically enhanced apes facing off against the remaining humans, and they don't know if they want to be friends or if they want to go against each other. It's a great story and insanely awesome visual effects, so I'm looking forward to that. And that is number eight on the list. Number seven is the best action Tom Cruise movie that I've seen in a while. This being Edge of Tomorrow, coming out June 6th. It's about a man who is thrown into combat with no experience, but when he dies, he just starts over at the beginning of that day. He just like keeps starting over. Over time, he increases his skill and begins to be able to take on his enemies alongside his partner and mentor, which is a girl, which I forget her name. But this is basically um, a more extensive and action-filled version of Source Code with Jake Gyllenhaal. Speaking of June 6th releases, number 6 on the list coming out June 6th is The Fault in Our Stars based on the John Green novel. Tiffios is about two teenagers whose unique challenges, funny quirks, and equal wits cause Hazel Grace to fall in love with Gus Waters the way you fall asleep, slowly and then all at once. This is not my typical movie, which shows that it's not half bad because if it's not my typical movie, yet it's number six on the list, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like number five, How to Train Your Dragon 2. This is also a sequel um, to How to Train Your Dragon. It's coming out June 13th, and I absolutely love animated movies, so of course I think you should see this movie. There's not much else to say, but like, anime movies are just getting better, so you should see this. Starting the second half of awesome movies coming out this summer, on June 13th to be exact, it's 22 Jump Street. This is a sequel to the hilarious 21 Jump Street, and I think it's going to li live up to the first one's standards. The same cast is in it, just in the setting of college this time. So you're going to have Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum, and they are great together, so I'm excited. And I can't wait for the third most anticipated movie also. See, I'm just getting good with these segues. Oh my word, it's so great. But anyway, coming out July 18th, it's Jupiter Ascending. This comes out from the creators of The Matrix. So that's already a plus. And unlike most summer blockbusters, this looks like it has awesome action and visuals and it also has a good plot. So it's like got the combination. So that's, that's better than you know, Transformers, which I'll talk about later. Um, Channing Tatum and Myla Kunis star in this intergalactic movie surrounding the battle of Earth and royalty and different things. It actually looks really good and it's a unique storyline. I'm excited for it. And now for the first of two trailers that you're going to see today, I'm just all about this, Transformers Age of Extinction coming out June 27th. It has the same plotless action sequences as in the first three movies that I can't help but enjoy. But they finally got rid of Shia LaBeouf, finally. Instead, they have Mark Wahlberg, thank goodness. So check, check him out in the trailer.
And we arrive at the most anticipated movie in my book coming out this summer. And it is coming out August 1st. Brr, 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 brr. That's my drum roll for Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy. It's about a band of misfit outlaws who come together to fight evil and, in the end, do good. This continues the Marvel tradition of nonchalant awesomeness and cocky humor, which I absolutely love. And I can't wait for this. And it's the last time I get to say this. Oh, I gotta make it good. Okay. So, check it out. Now, the real question is, how do you end this? How do you end something like that? How do you do it justice with such an ending that will justify its awesomeness? They'll just take everything that you've done, wrap it all up together and say, here you go, hope you've enjoyed it, and if not, oh well, but no refunds. How could you do that? You can't. Sorry.